Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is the sixth video in the Shudao series. Following up on prior topics like Three Treasures, Wind and Fire, and others. If you have watched my prior Shudao videos, you may have noticed that the topics are becoming more and more interesting but often abstract and challenging at the same time. Well, it is the nature of this practice. To alleviate this situation, I used a systematic and comprehensible format by introducing fundamental concepts first. Along with that, I also explain their historical and cultural context. At the same time, I also explain a few building blocks of the system. Whenever the time is right, I will do a detailed video on the building blocks of the entire Xiu Dao system, similar to my building block videos on the internal cells. So for now, please just keep watching and I'm sure you will have a better understanding of the system with time. Please be patient and please watch all of the Xiu Dao videos since they are interconnected. After posting the first Xiu Dao series video, some people in our community asked me to talk about the small orbit. I think now it's the right time to focus on this topic. By the way, I would like to remind you of one important issue in studying Xiu Dao practice. Any fancy terms used in Xiu Dao should be understood based on their practical definitions. In other words, terms are just tools to process knowledge to improve your practice. Continuous improvement of practice is the primary objective if not the ultimate goal of Xiu Dao. Do not drill on mere names or you will miss the forest for the trees. To help you achieve this objective, not only will I explain the practical aspect of the term, but also its historical and cultural background. Such a holistic approach should give you a complete picture of the evolution and the significance of the term. Topics covered in today's video include first, Zhou Tian in Chinese astronomy, second, Zhou Tian in Xiu Dao, third, key issues in Zhou Tian practice, fourth, practice time, and fifth, takeaways. Again, there will be a lot of terms used in this video. Some of them have been introduced in my prior Xiu Dao series. In order to understand today's video well, please watch those prior videos if you haven't already. There is no need to jump forward in learning Xiu Dao, or else the benefit would no longer be the same. So, let's get started. Topic 1 Zhou Tian in Chinese Astronomy. So, what is Zhou Tian? Well, originally, Zhou Tian was a term used in Chinese astronomy, and the people still use this term in China even today. Chinese astronomy has had a very long history. According to scientific and historical research, its origins can be dated back to the Shang Dynasty, approximately 1000. 600 BCE. People found some oracle bones with Chinese star names such as 28 mansions carved on them. Later, detailed astronomical observations records have been found that show that ancient China has some of the most persistent and accurate observers of celestial phenomena anywhere in the world. More than 1000 years ago, Indian astronomy reached China with the spread of Buddhism, 
and both systems incorporated together in China. As a result, Chinese astronomy evolved further quickly after the Tang Dynasty. In the following dynasties in China, many astronomers worked hard to improve astronomical knowledge. Even today, China continues to be active in this field including its own space program. To understand the relation among the Sun, the Moon, and the stars, the ancient Chinese astronomers invented many devices, including armillary sphere, abridged uh, armillary uh, celestial globe, water-powered armillary sphere, and the celestial globe tower, true north and planetary motion, and many more. One of them was Zhang Heng, a Chinese polymath. He was a scientist, statesman, poet, philosopher, politician, literature, and of course, an astronomer. According to written records, he invented the hydraulic motor-powered armillary sphere, an astronomical instrument representing the celestial sphere. In this instrument, a circle-shaped part okay, implored 365.24 degrees representing the movement of the Sun, and another circle-shaped part represents the change of the day and the night. Now, let's go back to Zhou Tian, the term itself. Zhou means cycle, and Tian means universe. Together, Zhou Tian means cycle of the universe. In the context of the armillary sphere, Zhou Tian is the metal circle in the equipment representing the movement of the moon and the stars. The ecliptic, the biggest circle on the celestial sphere representing the sun's annual apparent path during the year. Another important one representing daily motions is part of the equip equipment as well. To summarize this, Zhou Tian was the term first used in Chinese astronomy. There are two cycles. There are, there are two cycles here used in the armillary sphere, an annual cycle and a daily cycle representing the movement of the Earth, the Moon, and the stars. So, how did Dao's practitioners apply this knowledge to Xiu Dao? That brings us to the next topic. Second, Zhou Tian in Xiu Dao. In the Jin Dynasty, Ge Hong, 283 to 343, a famous Taoist scholar wrote an important Taoist book. The book is Bao Pu Zi, which is considered as one of the classic, classic Taoist documents in history. This book is must read for Xiu Dao practitioners because it explains some fundamental concepts about Taoism. In this book, the term Zhou Tian or Cycle of the Universe was first introduced. Since then, Taoist practitioners have been working on this concept and developing practice based on it. In my opinion, this practice reached new heights during the Ming Dynasty 1368 to 1644, especially after the publication of quite a few seminal works detailing Xiu Dao practice. I plan to introduce some of these documents in the future. In English, I have seen that some people use the term orbit to describe the term Zhou Tian. I think it is a good translation. So, from now on, I will use both Zhou Tian and Orbit interchangeably in this video. So, what is the Zhou Tian practice? 
因修道 ，orbit 哦，周天 is the practice of circulating the energy in the meridian or other channels. Basically, there are two type of 周天因修道 One is the 小周天 or the small orbit, and the other is the large orbit or 大周天 Here, 修 means small. And the da means large or big. Let's consider the armillary sphere again for a moment. The annual cycle in that device is the large orbit, and the daily cycle is the small orbit. Now you can see that Taoist practitioners borrowed the term from ancient astronomy to describe the practice of an inner energy circulation. This is the history of the term "small" and "large" orbit in Xiu Dao. Another metaphorical term used in Xiu Dao borrowed from other field. One, Xiao Zhou Tian or small orbit practice is to circulate the medicine or three treasures, Jing, Qi, and Shen, generated in the practice. Along the two main meridians, one is called Du Meridian, the other is the Ren Meridian. In English translation, Du Meridian is called governing vessel, while the Ren Meridian is called conception channel. Second, Da Zhou Tian, or large orbit practice, is to circulate the the medicine which is achieved. In the small orbit practice type, along certain channels in the body, again, like anything else in Xiu Dao, there are different schools following different method, including along some of the twelve meridians. By the way, twelve meridians is the concept used not only in Xiu Dao but also in traditional Chinese medicine. Along the twelve meridians in a fixed order, along the eight extraordinary meridians, along all the meridians, including twelve meridians and the eight extraordinary meridians, without following any specific meridian, but focusing on different organs. Some other method, but not that popular. Of course. This is no way a comprehensive list. There are many other methods as well. Now you can see that working on the large orbit is quite complicated. Again, it is no surprise since it is the nature of the orbit practice in Xiu Dao. Also, there are other different type of Zhou Tian practice besides the small and the large orbit in Xiu Dao. Like I said in the beginning, I would only focus on two of the most important orbit practice in this video. Now let's continue talking about orbits. I'd like to introduce the basic steps to practice both the small and the large orbits. To practice the small orbit, even though different schools fo follow different method, there are some commonalities. Basically. These steps include: first, enter the tranquility; second, adjusting the small medicine; third, generating the small medicine; fourth, gathering the small medicine; fifth, refining the small medicine; and sixth, achieving the small elixir. There are a lot of terms involved here. Which may sound simple in plain English, but they are complicated in a Taoist context. So take them at face value for now. I will explain them in detail in future. All of the above steps, except refining the small medicine, are performed in the lower Dantian. Refining the small medicine is performed in Du and the Ren meridians. I recommended you watch my video on the topic of Dantian to get more information on it. Traditionally, this is the step of refining the Jing to energy 
or Lian Jing Hua Qi. To practice the large orbit, it should be done based on the small orbit practice. Like I mentioned that there are different ways to practice this one. It can be more complicated, but I will introduce a commonly used method. Basically, these steps include first, adjusting the large medicine. Second, generating the large medicine. Third, gathering the large medicine. Fourth, refining the large medicine. Fifth, achieving the large elixir. Similar to the small orbit practice, refining the large medicine is performed along specific channels, while the rest are performed in the middle dantian. Traditionally, this is the step of refining the energy to spirit or Lian Qi Hua Shen. Please keep in mind that the objective of this video is to introduce key concepts, terms, and steps in the practice of orbit or Zhou Tian. The objective here is not to teach the specific procedures. It is very difficult, if not impossible, to introduce the real practice of orbit in this format. Also, it requires close monitoring and guidance between the teacher and the students, which is beyond the scope of this video. I think I have introduced enough terms so far. It will be confusing if I keep introducing some new terms. So, I did better close this topic by summarizing it. Small and large orbit practice in Xiu Dao have some specific method and you have to follow these steps in practice. Topic 3. Key issues in Zhou Tian practice. There are many issues that you have to pay attention when working on orbit practice. I will only introduce some of the most common topics here. First, to practice the orbit, three critical factors Lu Ding, San Bao, and Huo, or oh, stove and burner, three treasures, and the level of the fire have to be correctly managed. Even more importantly, at the different level and steps, Lu Ding, or oh, burner and stove should would mean different places. When you read ancient Xiu Dao documents, people used different names to indicate the same object. So, pay attention to detail. Second, any practice should start from Lian Jing Hua Qi, then Lian Qi Hua Shen. In other words, start from the small orbit, then move to the large orbit. So, what's next? Well, traditionally, they are refining the spirit to emptiness or Lian Shen Huan Xu, and refining the emptiness and the merging with the Dao or Lian Xu He Dao. We will skip the details for now. Third, the steps I just introduced in the last topic form the traditional method. However, there are other methods that can provide great benefit in a comparatively shorter period of time. It is the Yi Tong Zhou Tian, or Mantle Circulation Orbit. This method is based on visualization. In my opinion, this is not a traditional method of Xiu Dao practice, even though many people use the term orbit to classify this method because the foundation of this method used a dynamic way of managing the energy. Please keep in mind that even though this method is not that orthodox according to the classical Taoist standard, the health benefit of this method is still great, and if you manage it well, the effect can be seen faster than the traditional method. Furthermore, this category of method has been developing for the last 500 to 600 years. Based on my personal research and experience, 
it may be more suitable to people living in a modern life. Again, the objective of this video is to introduce some of the most important terms and concepts in orbit practice of Xiu Dao. It is not meant for someone who is looking for a specific practice method. Topic 4. Practice Type Last time, I introduced the practice of focusing on the lower dining area. That is the prerequisite for today's practice. So, I recommend you first practice it for a few days and then get started with today's exercise. Now, let's say you already experienced some sensation in your lower dining area. Now, adjust your breathing method is as the following. First, inhale naturally while focusing on the lower dantian. Second, exhale naturally without focusing on anything. Third, repeat step 1 and step 2 preferably for 30 minutes or as long as convenient. Please let me know your experience with this process in the comment section. Remember, do not force anything and let things happen naturally. Effortless action is the key. Topic 5. Takeaways In this video, I introduced a few key concepts related to Xiu Dao. Yes, it is a complicated system and it is even more difficult to talk about it in a short time. Even so, I have explained many interesting contents. First, the history of Zhou Tian along with some background information on Chinese astronomy has been explained. Second, brief introduction of small and large orbit practice, including its history and the main practice steps have been elaborated. Three, a simple yet powerful exercise of Xiu Dao based on the orbit system have been introduced. Of course, there's a lot more detail which I hope to cover in the future videos. So, that's end today's video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Enjoy your practice.